Welcome to Grand Overland. This is day one of an eight day trip culminating with a hike through the Valley of Dreams under moonlight. It may be out of order for my other videos, but this is my first attempt at filming, so my apologies. Stay tuned for this series as we travel through Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, and Utah. <laughs> Welcome to the Thunderdome. No, no, it's it's just my Jeep. It's my Jeep. Finally on the road. Hours late, not enough time in the past three days to get everything done. So probably won't make it down to uh, the Hoodoos in New Mexico tonight, or maybe at all. Looking to stop in Durango. See if I can't find me some Durangatangs. You all know who you cheeky monkeys are. Um, I know there's plenty of trails over there, so maybe just find a camp spot, get up early tomorrow morning and beeline it straight for Sedona. If I feel a little antsy in the pantsy, head down to New Mexico and try to go see those uh, hoodoos, but it's only just so much time on this trip. Well, there is no way you're coming to this town and not checking out some of the best old school cool when it comes to Jeeps that you will ever see. And if you're wondering where we are, good old sandwich. Sorry, Dutch, not quite here yet. Sweet military rigs, trailers, artillery pieces. I mean, who probably doesn't need a machine gun mounted to the top of their Jeep anymore these days? I love these things. Super rad. Ooh. These bad boys are up my alley. Wouldn't even want to change that patina. Driving cross country by yourself, honestly, you come across some of the absolutely most spectacular things ever. No, not necessarily the Jeep. Appreciate it that it got me here. But that sunset, with those mountains, whew, absolutely freaking amazing. I may have left for this trip at uh, zero Dane 30, and I'm hours late, but it is hard to get frustrated when you can pull over in a place I've never been before and appreciate a road trip background like this. Would I take a trip this long solo? I just wanted to give you a glimpse of what's going on in my very bored brain. Finding the trailhead for Valley of Dreams at night was harder than locating the Lost Ark without Dr. Jones. I wish I could have taken y'all along for the ride, but there was nothing to see, just darkness and barren. Even with Gaia, this was a total gong show. The situation went from a large graded dirt road to a two-wheel track and then a cow path. Once at the trailhead, there was no signs or clues to where you were. Basically, a moonscape. I had the location of the hoodoos on Gaia and that was my absolute only saving grace. And of course, avoiding these potential trip-ending landmines was absolutely key. Well, don't expect this to look real good. We got to the trailhead for Valley of Dreams about 12.40 at night. It's 1.30 in the morning, starting the trail. Figured to get some cool night shots. Completely second guessing all this. So, 
uh, hopefully it turns out good and worthwhile and not some Southwest Blair Witch project. We will see. I apologize for the kitten garden slideshow, but Nat Geo refused to lend me their state-of-the-art night vision equipment, so I had to settle for my cell phone camera instead. I ended up doing about three miles worth of hiking. Not a ton, but at 3 a.m., freezing cold, windy, dark, and no actual trail, it was plenty. These pictures are unaltered and only use my red headlamp to paint the surface. And the coup de grace, if you will, the alien throne. In person, this world of natural art devours any expectations. No one could have convinced me that such an ornate masterpiece could have been sculpted out of a solid piece of earth by nothing more than the hands of time using the elements with scalpel-like precision if I did not see this work in progress for myself. Yeah, that's me at the bottom of the screen, but it gives you an idea of how big these structures are. As you can see, this was worth all the effort. To experience such an otherworldly location totally alone in the middle of the night is a special moment that not many have been fortunate enough to call their own. And remember, what's your goal 